So I'm out here at Fairmont Hot Springs near Butte, Montana, and I came out here uh, for a vacation with my family for Easter. And I wasn't expecting to find anything radioactive, but I did, which is kind of funny. The road back behind me here is actually radioactive. And parts of the parking lot here at the Hot Springs. Now the reason for that is I think it has a lot to do with the same reasons that Pocatello and Soda Springs have radioactive roads and sidewalks and stuff like that is that they probably used radioactive slag, which was made from phosphate mining or some type of mining activity to build these roads and parking lot. So that's the reason why it's radioactive. And it's nothing like crazy, but it's definitely uh, higher than it's supposed to be. Usually at my house, I get like around uh, 250 and 350 counts per minute background radiation. Here on this road, I saw it go over 2000 counts per minute, <laughs> which isn't a lot, but it is definitely out of the ordinary. So I'm gonna walk around the road here, kind of show you uh, around and uh, we'll see how radioactive this thing is. Oh, hey, man, hey, you guys don't want pets, you guys want food, huh? So now what I'm also curious about is how sensitive is this Rad IB20 to this type of radiation? Because the Radicode 102, 103, 101, uh, even the 103G that's coming out, uh, those are all scintillation detectors. And so they're gonna be much more sensitive to gamma radiation. So this detector is sensitive to alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, but not as sensitive to gamma radiation as the other detectors. And so let's turn on the clicker here and see what it's detecting. I mean, it's definitely more active and I'm getting around Let's see here, you know, 175 counts per minute, 177. That's not too high, especially for radiation. So it seems like the, the majority of the radiation here that's being detected is probably in the form of gamma radiation because if this road used like, like the bed of the road used radioactive material and they put the asphalt on top of there, uh, a lot of the beta radiation is gonna be blocked by the actual road material and only the gamma radiation is gonna be coming through. So, that's something to think about. Ooh, car coming. This is definitely showing an increase in radiation. Like if I hold it right down to the asphalt here, I'm getting around, that's still going up. I gotta wait until it settles here. Looks like I'm getting around 400 counts per minute off of my Rad IB20. And I was getting over 2000 counts per minute on the Radicode 103. That just shows you the type of, or how much more sensitive that detector is to gamma radiation. So now this isn't a dangerous level of radiation. And I know I say this in a lot of my videos talking about all types of different sources, but it really isn't. I mean, this level of radiation is gonna give anyone cancer. It isn't gonna affect anyone's health. Now granted, there are people that are more sensitive to radiation, to chemical exposure, and those sensitive people might have some type of health effect from something like this. But the vast majority of people in the entire world would not see any type of health effects from living here on this road for their entire lives or traveling every day to Fairmont Hot Springs or anywhere along here. It's just something that's here. It is contamination. I mean, it's material that shouldn't have been used in the first place, but the level of radiation is very low. It's like 10 times above background radiation. At least that's what I was getting on my Rad IB20. And it's like right around that for <laughs> the Radicode 103. I think it's like right around uh, five or six times background radiation. Uh, the Rad IB20 is going to pick up on beta radiation, whereas the Radicode isn't going to pick up on that beta. But it's uh, it's an interesting place. It's not gonna cause anyone health problems. It's just uh, maybe cause some entertainment for people like me hunting for radioactive places and objects. And so, yeah, another car right here. Just trying to not do anything, waiting for them to pass by. Yep, see you guys later, bye. I know, it's hilarious. She's smiling. It must be really funny seeing someone talk to a camera. I'm sure it's odd for everyone, but this is how I make videos. And for the outside observer looking in, I'm sure it looks very weird. <laughs>
So now this type of contamination I've also seen before, and that was in Pocatello and Soda Springs, and that was from phosphate mining. And I think there is a phosphate mine here in the Butte area as well that probably provided the road material for this road and for part of the parking lot of Fairmont Hot Springs, making part of the parking lot radioactive. And it's unfortunate that it used it in the first place, but it's nothing where they need to remove the road or anything like that. It's totally fine. It's such a low level of radiation. It's not going to affect anybody. It's just kind of cool that it's here. You know, I, to be totally honest, I like finding these things and I like that, uh, you know, people didn't do their di didn't do their due diligence in researching materials that were used for roads, because now I have something to find. <laughs> to put it bluntly, you know, it's just one of those things where it's it might be terrifying to some people to find these areas and to find this increased level of radiation, but it is so low that it, it more than likely will not have any type of health effect on anyone ever. So. If you happen to be uh, out in uh, Montana near Butte, uh, you can probably cruise by Fairmont Hot Springs, and if you have a Radicode or any type of Geiger counter that's sensitive enough, you'll be able to pick up on this extra radiation that's here on this road in this parking lot. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you uh, did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to join there, I post like kind of other photos I don't share or stuff I'm working on, all type of jazz. Anyway, see you later.